Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video and today I want to show you some new stationery that I just received. It's a planner season in the stationery community and many companies release their planners for next year, their journals and notebooks and calendars and all this cool stuff and some of them already started to arrive so uh, in my previous stationary video I showed you this one already, this Moomin planner for 2025 that I'm going to use next year as my work planner and like in general work and everything else. Uh, so basically this one will be my main planner for next year. And I think uh, when it comes to planners, it will be the only planner that I'm going to use, at least at the moment, that's my plan. I don't want to get any other planners, um, maybe just something small in addition, like, I don't know, some little notebook for work-related notes, but actually in this one there is also some uh, space in the back for notes, so I will see how this one will work. And later this year I still will show you my lineup for the next year, my journal and planner lineup for 2025. Uh, but yeah, now I'm slowly figuring out what I want to use, what I'm going to use. And today I got this uh, cute little diary from Midori. Uh, this is like monthly and weekly diary. And actually the main reason why I bought it, because it's very cute. <laughs> I like this cover with an adorable cat. And I also liked how it looked uh, inside when I saw the pictures, like that basically every page has this cute little cat illustration, black cat. I really like black cats. I had a black cat earlier. Uh, unfortunately, she passed away already quite a few years ago, but I really love black cats and this cute cat uh, reminded me of my cat who passed away. So I decided to get it because it's very, very cute and I didn't really know what I'm going to do with it when I ordered this and I know that's not really good to order something just because it's cute, not really knowing how I'm going to use it, but well... It is what it is and it arrived today and in person it's even better than on the pictures. So in the beginning it has this yearly schedule, which I probably won't use because I never use things like that. But let's see, maybe, maybe I will mark here days when I'm traveling or something like that. Then it also has a monthly section. And also each page has this cute cat illustrations. And then the main part of it is weekly sections. So basically you have one week on a, on a spread. And also each page has this cute cat illustrations. Just look at this. How adorable. And uh, yeah, so basically it's for the whole year. And in the end, there are some pages for notes, some dotted pages for notes. And also a list like this. I think you can just write down birthdays here, for example. Um, and also memories of 2025, so maybe like best moments of the month or something like this. And when I got it, I actually decided that I'm going to use it as a diary. It is, it says that it's a diary and I think I'm going to use it as a diary. And this year I'm using this uh, Midori A6 notebook, which looks like this. It's kind of one page a day, 365 pages, undated pages for, for the year, kind of like a, one page a day diary and uh, I'm not showing this very often uh, because there are many personal things in here and it's like really a personal diary and actually I've been using it quite regularly so as you can see it's uh, already more than half filled. I don't use it every single day but I try to 
journal at least a little bit and some pages I decorate like for example this is this week I kind of decorated a few pages in advance some pages I don't decorate just maybe add some date stickers or something like this like I use this um, washi tape calendar stickers for marking dates and uh, I like this little notebook but I want to try something else in 2025 but I want to have a diary uh, so I thought that I will use this as a diary and I like uh, that um, that it has this weekly spread and like just a bit of space for every day because I noticed that sometimes I just don't really know what to write and like a page a day is kind of too much sometimes and of course I don't have to use the whole page for a day but um, I think this way it will be better and when I'm traveling I don't use this diary and also I don't think that I will be using this one when I'm traveling it's dated and I don't really like to skip weeks uh, so I mean, my plan is when I will be traveling and won't be journaling here I just will write down that I'm traveling just will write down my destination where, where I am on that day and will journal about it in my travel journal and like yeah maybe decorate it a bit with some stickers but when I'm at home I just want to write down shortly like a summary of the day basically what that's what I do in this notebook and this one is getting really chunky because as always I add many stickers and tapes and it's getting already a bit difficult to write in it and I think until end of the year it will get really big and chunky and probably it won't be very comfortable to use it and as I said like a page a day sometimes feels a bit too much so some pages it's mostly some decorations and I want to try this format like in a, do this in a weekly format so this is my plan for this cute little diary as I said, I really love this cover with a cat, it's so adorable. And also in addition to it, I ordered a bunch of new stickers also from Midori. That's the new sticker collection from them, so let's open them together. And they are also with cats, um, this cute sticker sheet with, with cats. Then more cats, I think it's the same images but uh, a bit smaller size then also more cats like kind of uh, small cat icons different cats and also cats uh, uh, doing different things different activities like reading or sleeping also very very cute uh, then also this s sticker sheet with uh, small dog stickers also really tiny and another sticker sheet with dog stickers but these are a bit bigger also very very cute and i think i'm going to use this uh, stickers in this in this journal and for monthly section i plan to use like kind of uh, best moment of each day. That's basically what I am doing also in here because this one also has this monthly section and uh, every day I just um, write down one best moment of the day or something like this so I'm going to do the same in here in this monthly section and uh, uh, this small stickers will be really great for decorating on the small cats and dogs and also I think I will use this bigger cat and dog stickers in here just for decorating some days. So yeah, that's my plan for this little journal and I ordered this one of my favorite online shops in Sweden called Komadori. That's their logo and they also add uh, some Japanese tea to each order like as a thank you little thank you gift and also a handwritten uh, thank you note it's a swedish shop so it's in swedish 
So this is my little order from Komodori and it was a pre-order. I ordered this sometime in July, I think, or beginning of August and it arrived just now in the beginning of September and I really like how it looks and I'm actually really happy that I decided to order it. And yeah, I think this will be a very good diary for the next week, uh, next year. So I already have two two notebooks for the next year, planner and a diary. And of course, there still will be a few more. So and then I also want to open these two packages that just arrived. One of them is from Ukraine, uh, from stickers Monika shop. I've already been showing uh, many stickers from this shop and I use them a lot and always order their new stickers, like not everything but many of their new stickers. So I placed this little order I think sometime in August and it just arrived so I will show you a few new stickers that I got. Uh, not very many this time, just a few sticker sheets, but they are very cute. So I got this uh, icons sticker sheets, this small sheets with emojis, uh, bears and frogs. And they are all very, very cute. And I got bears two times. I really like bears, so I know that I will use this very fast. So I got two right away. Then. I also got a few autumn sticker sheets for my daily journal in autumn and for my diary. I use a lot of stickers in my daily journal or diary. Um, this one is also really cute with fairies. This one will be great for my book journal, I think, for journaling about some fantasy books. And then there are also these cute balls. A sticker sheet with frogs, also very cute. And then, then tigers and butterflies. I also got some Halloween stickers and I think this will be also nice for book journal, all this uh, spooky, witchy details. Also will be great for journaling about some fantasy books or some horror horror books, horror stories. In Usually in October I read a lot of horror stories, so this will be also nice for my book journal. I really like this cat sticker. And this one was a freebie. Uh, there are always some freebies if you order for a certain amount and like depends for how much you order. Sometimes it's one sticker sheet, sometimes two or even three. So this one was a freebie and I already had this one, but I used it recently. So it's good to have another one. And also this autumn sticker sheet, a rabbit in the forest, also very cute. So this is a little order from Stickers Vanilka shop. And then I also got a Patreon mail uh, from Metal and Twig. Again, I feel like I'm showing this in every stationary video that I film, but I get them every month and they are always very cute. So this is um, for October already. Um, yeah, but I got this still in the beginning of September. Today is 5th of September when I'm filming this. And I think I will maybe uh, wait for a few more packages that should arrive soon and kind of will film this video for a few days um, before I will edit and post it. So. And yeah, so there are always these round stickers. So very, very cute. I really like this mouse. Yeah, so two big sheets of the round stickers and then 
also these bigger sheets with different autumn details and these are not cut out you have to cut cut them out yourself they are always very very cute sometimes uh, i'm lazy to cut them out and just collect them so i already have quite a few of this but um, i use them too i use uh, this round stickers more often and faster definitely because these are already pre-cut so it's of course easy and faster to use them but these are also very cute and i really like this mouse with a cinnamon bun <clears throat> there is a cinnamon bun day in sweden like it's a holiday uh, but uh, that is celebrated in october and I'm always looking forward to this day because I love cinnamon buns. So I'm, I think I'm going to use this sticker for journaling about cinnamon bun day. Yeah, so as always, very, very cute. So this was Patreon mail from Natal and Twig. And as always, I will leave the, all the links in the description in case if you would like to check out these shops, this artists. And the last package that I want to open together with you in this video, that's my rental box from Cafe Analog that just arrived. It's one of my favorite stationery stores uh, based in the Netherlands and they have this option where you can collect a few orders for some time and then they all shipped together and like that you can save on shipping costs so I use this option quite often so here I have like I think six or seven different orders some of the things that I ordered in summer I think June July and August so it's it's quite heavy there are quite many things in here and I know that there are really many new stamps also some tapes I didn't open anything yet so let's open all this new stuff together and i think let's start from the stamps so i know that these are like this is um, a set uh, some new designs from elsie was love and i really like her cute designs so I ordered this new set. Yeah, I think it was a pre-order um, sometime in June or maybe even in May. I don't remember already when exactly I ordered this. And then, so I will keep the stickers, of course, for my journal. And there are many cute new stamps with this adorable Kakput characters. And I think I won't open the packaging right now. I will do it a bit later when I will start to use it and to journal with the stamps. And of course, I also will save this beautiful packaging, but you can see the designs on the packaging. I think this and this are probably my favorite ones, but all of them are super cute and then there is also a set of um, note sheets note cards called postal telegram and i think all this collection is called letters from afar and it's very very cute so yeah these are also really great okay, let's take them out from here and there are different colors of this few of each then i have another little bag with stamps so let's open this yeah, there is a lot and this all these stamps i ordered uh, separately it's not a set or anything it's just some stamps that i uh, ordered from different artists so this is a black milk project stamp which you could personalize so basically like a, a journaling themed with a journal and stationery and like a kind of layout of stationery and you could add your name to it 
so a very cute also of course I will save this packaging and yeah it looks really really cool looking forward to try it out and then there is also this one also really cute and journaling themed called travel journaling and also this little bear is from the same artist also really really cute then there is another stamp from LC was love I think this one is uh, this one was separately like not a part of this collection but something else then I also got a few stamps from pens papers planner and this one says an introvert perfect for me I am an introvert then me time and then often alone really lonely also really cool social battery is drained also very cool perfect stamps for introverts and also this one allergic to human these are all from the same artist this cute stamp is from Ivy Snow look at this adorable raccoon and this one is also another stamp from Elsie with Love also not a part of this collection but some other new stamp and yeah so I ordered this um, during summer and yeah it's really cool to get them all together there are really many new stamps to try and then I also have two PET tapes one is from Pion so, yeah that's one of her latest designs and I had a sample of this uh, tape and I wasn't sure if I want to order the full roll or not but in the end I decided to get the full roll uh, because I used that sample really really quickly uh, it was gone like in no time so I decided that I will order a full roll it's really pretty and I think this uh, this will be great mostly for spring and summer and it's autumn already so it's kind of a bit late because there are many of this pretty flowery designs with, with the girls and yeah it fits more to spring but it's okay then I can use it next year so that's one and the second one called woodland story and this one is from new illustration from Australia also very cute and I remember that uh, sometime last year I had uh, stickers from this collection it's like not a not a new tape yeah I had stickers uh, from this collection definitely and I really liked them and I already used all of them so I decided to get the tape because it's very very cute there are many birds and flowers it's really really cute I really like these birds and geese very cute nature themed tape and the loop is really really long as you can see it's so going and going and going and yeah I think that's that's the end of it yeah that's already that's how long it is like I, I can't fit it in the camera it's really really long so many cute details many flowers and birds and uh, some of the details are foiled as you can see so it's kind of like a gold, golden foiling and yeah there are a few more things a few different bags here so I think this one is also part of uh, this collection this letters from afar from LCU is love I ordered the whole collection and uh, the, it came uh, with a set of stamps and uh, this papers and 
Also a few additional things. There should be some stickers, if I remember correctly. And also a few additional things. Yeah, so there is this cute postcard with a handwritten message, which is really cool and also with some of the cool stamps. Then there is also a sticker sheet with these cute characters and also this tiny sticker sheet and also this passport stamp collection. So basically I think the idea is to collect here all the stamps from Elsie with Love or maybe in general just some stamps that you like. It says Elsie with Love stamp collection, so I guess I will use it for all my stamps that I have. And I have quite many already actually, so it will be fun to stamp all of them in this passport and like kind of keep track of the stamps that I have. And this passport that was an additional freebie. And then there is another, another little bag here. I think this one is was with, uh, with uh, some stickers and also some freebies because I remember that uh, some orders, some of these orders also included freebies uh, because in summer there was some kind of um, special offer that if you place an order for a certain amount then you also can choose a freebie. So I think this was a freebie. This cute little sticker sheet also from Elsie with Love. This one I think also was a freebie. Merry Christmas. I already had this cat stickers. They're very very cute. So it's good to have more of this. Then also another sticker sheet from Elsie with Love and also another sheet of this from this collection that I ordered separately. And then I also got a bunch of stickers from Lucky Deer and these are transfer stickers. So very cute. I really liked this with bears. They're really really cute. And there are two sheets I think in each uh, set. This one is also from Lucky Deer. I really like this raccoon. And this one is from Black Milk Project. Me time girls and stationery. And then I also got this print-on stickers from our studio with beautiful birds. Also two sheets in a set. And then also another set of transfer stickers or maybe these are washi stickers, I'm not sure. Uh, this one is from TU Shop. This is a new artist for me, but really, really cute. And this, I think, will be great for my tea journal or cafe's journal, something food related, definitely. And also another sticker sheet. These are clear PAT stickers, also from TU Shop. I really like the name of this something tea related and here also as you can see you have some teacups and teapots and some sweets very cute and the last thing is a freebie bag as always with some cute papers and tape samples and just some fun stuff for for your journals as always many cute many cute papers some fun stuff for collaging. Some tape samples as always. And yeah, different papers. These 3D bags are always fun. Always nice to use these papers for making a collage. Yeah, so this is just an additional little gift. Uh, this was my rental box from Cafe Analog. 
a few orders that I collected over summer and yeah I'm really looking forward to try out all this stuff especially all these new stamps uh, many 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 new cool stamps and I think that's it for this video that's everything what I wanted to show you and as always I will leave the links to all the shops that I mentioned is this in this video and all the artists in the description box so as always thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos bye